Hello? Hello? Welcome everyone to the live info session. For those of you who are tuning in right now, can whoever's on there just let me know if my audio is working. Hello. For those of you who are tuned in, can you please let me know if my audio is working? Just write in the comments yes or no. One of you, there's a few people on right now. Hi, Ashley, can you hear me? Just want to make sure the audio is working before I begin. I can hear you. Thank you, Crystal. Okay, great. Amazing. And hello, Crystal. Hello, Ashley. Hello, everyone there that's tuned in and welcome to to this moment for those of you who I have not personally met my name is Bianca and it's an honor to meet you here I am here live today because I want to share with all of you a beautiful um, training that has that I launched last week called the mystery school of the rose and today I'm just going to share a little bit more about that and then open up the space for questions and answers. And uh, some of you perhaps saw my post today or yesterday saying, are you ready to step into your role as a divine feminine leader? Well, this training is all about not only our own inner transformation, but also stepping into our role as leaders. And so as I wait a couple more moments to see if anyone else wants to jump onto the video, maybe you can just let me know where you're tuning in from. Crystal, where are you tuning in from? And there's one more person live right now with us. Um, I'm in Costa Rica right now. It's already dark outside. Um, in the place called Chiripo, Sacred Mountains of Costa Rica. It's really, really special up here. Great. So welcome, everyone. Nice to connect in this way with you. Before we enter a bit deeper into the sharing, I would love us to all drop in together. So I'm going to ask us all just to sit up nice and tall and close our eyes and begin just to take some long deep breaths in and out and place your hands on your knees make sure your spine is nice and erect and breathe in and breathe out breathing in deeply through the nose and through the mouth sigh it out and begin to bring all your focus into the heart center breathing in this beautiful fragrant breath into your heart, expanding the heart center, and then sighing it out. Continue with this breath, deep inhale through the nose, deep exhale through the mouth. For those of you who just joined us, so we can all drop into our heart center together. Deep inhale through the nose. 
deep exhale through the mouth. Focus all your energy into the heart center. Continue the breath for those of you who just joined us. If you want to come drop in with us, close your eyes, sit up tall. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Bring all of your awareness into the heart center. Bringing your super intention to this present moment. Let's make these next three breaths profound, profoundly, intentionally, purposeful to connect us to this moment with each other into the now. <sighs> Just take a moment connect your heart and bring into your awareness one thing that you are grateful for And just connect with all the other sisters on the call right now. Now we expand our own heart as we exhale. We breathe our golden light love essence into the heart of each sister who is also here with us. And let's take one more deep inhale. And an audible sigh. <sighs> let's take our hands onto our heart. Just take a moment for silent devotion. A sweet, small prayer. A moment to connect with this beautiful temple, this well of wisdom, the seat of the soul. And when you're ready, let's return back. So welcome. Oh, hello. Um, I know many of you will be watching this replay. Uh, lots of you who I do know from past retreats or courses or coaching um, or just friends, thank you for watching. Uh, today is a very special moment where I get to share more about this beautiful offering that has been in the making for a long time and is finally ripe to be launched. It is the Mystery School of the Rose. And before I go into more detail about the Mystery of School of the Rose, I want to share with you um, a little bit about the last 10 years of my own spiritual journey, a deep dedication of connecting deeper to my heart. After a lifetime of just scratching the surface of the depth of our own existence, I realized that I had been living my whole life from my head and that 
the true experience, love, light, essence of life is to be experienced from the heart. And so this is the journey that I have committed myself to fully, to live a life from the heart, to commit and give myself fully, 100% of myself, to this journey of self-discovery, to the journey of the heart, to decoding the mysteries, to learning the language of the heart, to navigate life from a place of the heart, and to be a true expression of my heart. And let me tell you, it has not been a very linear or easy journey. It has been full of its own challenges and tests and obstacles, but everything has been a beautiful opportunity for deeper growth and deeper understanding of who I am, what I am, and how I am serving. And so for the last 10 years, I have committed myself to this path of deeper inner discovery, and my main path has been through yogic studies. I've traveled all over the world studying with amazing teachers and masters about yoga, about pranayama, about breath, about different technologies to enter into altered states of consciousness, to expand our consciousness. I've spent time in the jungle, I've spent time with uh, different tribes, working with plant medicines to also enter into state, different states of consciousness. And let's just say I have been dedicated to understanding what it is to be human and how to live from the heart. I've been a yoga teacher for almost 10 years, sharing this beautiful medicine, sharing this, the medicine of sound, music, moving the body, breathing through the body, breaking our own mental limitations through various activities such as ice baths, and um, just really stepping out of comfort zone to explore new heights of possibility of being human and most of the time when we think we can't we can and how do we surpass that how do we break free from the old paradigm the old program of playing small into literally spreading out our wings and taking flight as a sovereign empowered beautiful radiant being that we are and so my deepest to the core remembrance of why and who and what I am and how I serve was when I connected with the awakening of the divine feminine within myself within others and of the planet and this came to me over a period of time where I realized that it was not only my own personal journey of discovering my heart it was a collective journey of remembering our heart it's a collective journey a global journey that we are all on on rediscovering this beautiful space within us that is our compass, that is the seat of our soul. And I associate that with the divine feminine because the divine feminine, it doesn't mean woman. It means the energy of the feminine. It means the energy of coming from a place of compassion and care and tenderness and grace and love, which is both a quality in men and women. And for the last 2,000 plus years, we have been really weighted on one side of this scale, which is coming from a very headed place, a competitive place, a more masculine place. It's, it's me or no one better, wealthier, stronger, competition, which is all great but that's not a very sustainable model and if we look at our beautiful mother earth right now she is also crying for a certain state of balance to be reestablished on her 
in society, in our hearts, in our bodies, in our minds. So that is the awakening of the divine feminine and it's literally this remembering. And perhaps some of you have been connecting to different archetypes, different goddesses, different deities, the Sophia dragon tribe, these beautiful avatar beings who came to this planet at different periods of time as pure light to remind us of who we are. Who are we? And that's a big part of this training. It's a portal of deep remembrance of who we are. And it's simple. We are God. We are the prophets of the prophecy, remembering ourselves. And it's almost surreal to say that so lightly. It's, but it is just that. It's not, we are beyond the days of the guru. We are in a moment where we all are just being asked to tune in with, within, to tune in within and ask ourselves and connect with ourselves and draw from ourselves the wisdom that is already there, to remember that wisdom. And the channel is open. You just have to choose and decide and make the space to do so. My... I love to say the real definition of guru is G, U R U. So that's the time we're living in. And it brings me to this offering, which I feel very passionate about because this offering is all about creating a sacred space for each and every one of us to remember who we are by connecting, dropping in within so deeply that we remember. We remember who we are, we remember why we are, and we remember how we serve. And when we remember these things, all of the old programs, all of the belief systems, all of the conditioning that has followed us for even generations no longer can hold grip within us. When we remember who we are, all of the things that have been keeping us small fall away because we have remembered a frequency, we have entered into a vibration that is, that is so high that these old programs that are more dense can literally not hold on any longer. So this training is the Mystery School of the Rose is a space where we enter into this vibration of Christ consciousness, of purity, of light, so we can align our own vessels, we can become divine channels ourselves, which we already are, it's just about remembering. We can call in that light, we can open up the visions, we can remember who we are, which empowers us to reclaim our sovereignty, to reclaim our power, our confidence, which unlocks all of the parts of us to allow the creativity to flow, and then eventually to step into the leadership that each one of you is here to show up for. It's no coincidence we are all here right now sharing this space we are all leaders of the new earth, all of us, every single one of you. How you share this with others is totally unique to each one of you. And this, and the Mystery School of the Rose is one platform, is one way, and if it resonates with you, it is a powerful way to hold space for, to open up a sacred container, to support others, to also remember. It's almost, I like to, I like to kind of compare it to, it's like an evolved yoga teacher training in a way. We're not learning yoga, but we are learning yoga. Yoga means to connect to God. 
So in a way, this is a training for you to connect to God and for you to then hold space for others to connect to the God within them. We are all God. So this is, I'm just going to go a little bit, take a couple minutes to just dive into some of the details of the program. And then when I'm done, I'm going to open up the platform for any questions. So it's a seven month program. I'm opening it up for 12 women. We're almost halfway full already. And it's seven months, seven moons, seven gates. On every full moon, we meet and I guide us through the sacred rituals as done and remembered from the Temple of Isis. And I may share in, in another sharing later about the detail of how my remembering happened, but it has been a process and I am receiving these, this, this information and a recent trip to Egypt just a few months ago was really the, the pivot point that where spirit said, okay, it's really time to share your gold. And that's when I knew I had to, to launch this. Um, so on every full moon, I guide us through one of the Temple of Isis rituals. There's seven. On every full moon, I guide us through one. The day after, we integrate it we share, we deconstruct what just happened, the alchemy of what happened, because we are literally opening up portals of magic. And so the day after we talk about how that happened, what happened, and, and just deconstruct it all so we can understand and study it. And then we also prepare ourselves because on the new moon, you will then be guiding your community through the same Temple of Isis ritual. So right away, you are going through an inner experience and then you are sharing and stepping into leadership. And for most of you joining, you already have some experience holding space through sound journeys, yoga teaching, Reiki, or some sort of space holding background. Um, but that is the... It's going to definitely be an interesting and beautiful and powerful and um, quantum leaping journey. Um, and we will learn so much from every ritual that you experience and through every ritual you guide. Like I said, every ritual is has been channeled. They have been used for thousands of years to enter into altered states of consciousness through intention, through the geometry, through the sound, through the nod, through all the most minuscule pieces together with intentionality, the heka, the magic is then created. The portal is opened. The quantum leaping is invited in. So the rituals are such, each ritual is guided by a different feminine archetype guide ranging from ancient Egypt we have Isis and Hathor we have Lakshmi and Saraswati we have Mary Magdalene and Mother Mary and then we have Sekhmet so we have a really powerful crew of badass woman avatars who are guiding this process with us who will literally be um, protecting and guiding us so you will also develop and deepen into your into a deeper relationship if you don't already have a relationship with these avatars you will be deepening into relationship with them and uh yeah, so that's kind of the essence. And then additionally to that, every month we have a theory class. And those theory classes range from learning about temple arts, temple technology, temple etiquette, the priestess path, the rose path, the heart path. multi-dimensional space holding. 
I called it the thousand petal lotus of expression. So opening up our chakras and especially working on this one, our expression of self, of heart, of body, unlocking all the chakras so that we confidently share our message, share our power, because the time is truly now. The time is now. The time is right now. No more playing small. If you are here, it's not by chance. If this is resonating and giving you goosebumps on your body, I can deeply from my, the bottom of my heart say this is divinely guided and we are on this journey together to literally activate rose temples all around the world to bring back the remembrance of the temple way, of the priestess way, to re remember and share the magic of our own power, of sacredness, of devotion, of prayer, of intention. And through sacred container, also remember that literally life, every moment, even this one right now is sacred, is a prayer, is divine. Hmm. So with that being said, I'm deeply honored if you feel aligned with this work to guide you through it, to support you into stepping into leadership, to support you through transforming and transmuting whatever is left that may be keeping you small so that all together we can co-create the golden cities, the new earth. We can birth the new age of light and love and freedom and creativity together. It is the time more than ever right now to be radical, to take those leaps of faith, to be courageous, and to just say yes to what you already know is true in your heart. What are you living for? And with that being said, hmm, with that being said, I'm going to open up the space to any questions right now. If anyone has questions about the program, thank you for your comments. So nice to get these replies. For those of you who are here right now and are truly interested in this, in the mystery school of the rose and have questions, please ask them right now in the comments. I'm here to answer them. I've just shared the link to the website. For those of you who want to take a deeper dive, otherwise I'm here to answer any questions. Again, I'm just transitioning now to answering questions. If anyone has any questions about the Mystery School of the Rose, about the upcoming training, I'm here to answer them. I just shared a link in the comments where you can find more information and detail about all the days we'll be meeting. Well, it was a joy to be here with all of you. Thank you for tuning in. And for those of you who are going to watch the replay or who are watching the replay, blessings to you. Lots of love. Can't wait to connect. And if there are additional questions that I have not addressed yet, please feel free to reach out and ask me directly. Sending all of you lots of love. Namaste.